everyone. This is the review for the through cool seven and a quarter inch worm drive saw. If you're a DIYer like myself or a contractor where you do heavy construction, I think this saw has a little bit for everyone. Um, definitely is a heavy duty saw. Maybe even a little bit more than what I would need it for. Um, but you know, when I go to build my shed here this summer, this is definitely gonna come in handy. So what I wanted to do was actually rip through some wood, a two by four here, to actually uh, show you how this thing sounds and how well it cuts. And then after I'll unplug it for safety and we will look at some of the features here. So as far as it goes to the blade, uh, it's sharp, it's a rigid blade. And uh, man, it cuts through, through wood like butter. It really does, very nice. Uh, to change that blade, they included an Allen wrench for you. And basically it sits right here. There's a little magnet and it just pops in and out. And it stays in the place with that magnet so you don't have to worry about falling out on you. This is your bevel. So you would put that up, you know, and, and adjust it. This actually goes to 56 degrees, not your standard 45. So that's a plus, very nice. And this is your depth adjustment. And I'll show you that here in a minute. This right here is where the oil goes. And if you're wondering what type of oil to use, all I use is the Skill Oil, and it's S-K-I-L. You can go to Home Depot and find that online if you want, or I'm sure they carry it in the store. It's about $6 for an eight ounce tube, but it'll last you a long time, depending on how much you actually cut with this. Um, but you definitely wanna make sure that it's in the high, not the low. You don't wanna burn this thing up. This right here is a neat little feature. This actually allows you to hang the saw. I have a, uh, a workbench with a rack up on top that I just hang this from. So you don't really need a case, even though the case would be nice. It doesn't come with one. So once again, you can just hang that there and it stays put. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's pretty solid there. And there's your trigger. So let me, uh, let me run through a piece of wood real quick for you. go not loud at all and it actually makes that very smooth so just an awesome cut with that and you can just feel the power in that saw like I said probably a little bit more than what I actually need but um worth every penny for sure so let me unplug this real quick all right so your depth adjustment just put that up there you go. So you can cut as deep as you need to. Here's your bevel. All right, a little hard to do with one hand. I'm gonna try. Let's set this this way. Sorry about that. So 56 degree cut, which is really nice, and we just down and there you go once again flip it up there's your bevel just lock it back down and make sure that that's locked it's a little hard to do when you're holding a camera you know but uh if i had two hands it'd definitely be a lot easier but that is the saw once again it's it's uh really heavy duty I mean it's it's not all that light you know it does have some weight to it but uh I think that's something you would want on a construction site if you drop this thing it's it's probably not gonna break I can almost guarantee you that it's not cracking um, it's built almost like with a hard rubber plastic like all the rigid tools are all their impact drivers and drills so it's, it's really sturdy and uh, I think you're really going to enjoy this. So I hope this review helped and uh, good luck.